Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz and today I am doing a little bit of a comparison video. I know it's not a direct comparison, but um, just to kind of give you an idea of the new Alexa Echoes that are out. We have the full size Echo, which is this beauty right here, as well as the Echo Dot. And these are both the fourth generation. These are the newest editions that have been put out. I believe it was in October. Um, so yes, these are the newest editions. So I'm just going over a couple of the advantages of the of the new speakers. For starters, they one of my biggest most irritating thing about these new speakers. I know it's nitpicking. I will admit that, but it just kind of bugs me. The fact that the cord does not match the speakers. So they're just going, ha they're just having a generic standard uh, port to it. So it's a bit irritating. I've already done a review, a comparison video between the Echo third generation versus the fourth generation. I do have quite a bit of comparisons lined up for the dots or for the Echoes in general. Um, I've got the Google Nest, I wanna say home, but it's the Google Nest to compare with the um, Echo. And then I had the mini coming in that's going to be reviewed for or compared to the Echo fourth generation, the dot fourth generation. So I have a the Google Nest to compare to the regular Echo. And then I had the Google Nest mini that's going to a little bit of on a back order. So I've had a delay with it and I'll do me doing a comparison with the dot as well. And there is an Apple speaker that will be coming out in December. So within next five minutes it seems like the way this year's been going <laughs> uh it'll be here in december and it is the apple home pod mini and i'm pretty sure if i keep saying it again i'm going to mix up the words eventually so now that i've said it pr properly the first time on video <laughs> i'm going because it seems like based off the price and everything like that it's going to compare a little bit more to the echo versus the dot so i'm actually going to be doing a obviously a standard review on it and then a comparison with the echo and the mini and the dot um, i'm just so used to hearing nest mini pod mini all the mini so if i call it the echo dot mini <laughs> understand that i'm referring to the dot um, so i'm pretty sure i can easily get that confused on throughout the rest of the video going off of like i said i've already done a video of a review on the echo as well as the dot fourth generation and so if you haven't seen those, well then that's probably why you're here. Um, I did have a, hopefully subscriber, <laughs> ask a question in regards to the Echoes. Is there any additional charges that you're going to be accrued on throughout, you know, just owning one of these? And the simple answer is just to own it? No. There are apps and games and things like that. Owning these speakers, just the speaker by itself, and using it as a Bluetooth speaker, there's not going to be any additional charges. As I mentioned, there are apps that could easily accrue a monthly charge, whether it's through music, games, and things like that. Also, parents, if you decide to get your kids the Echo, regardless of whether it's the standard or the Dot, my suggestion would be is to, to set it up on your phone with your app, with your Alexa app, but also make sure that you disable the voice purchase. And I may, it may not be called voice purchase, but where you can verbally place items in your Amazon cart and make purchases that way. I've heard plenty of stories of parents getting frustrated with their kids ordering without, maybe they're you know younger than five where they don't really comprehend what they're, they just, I want this, I want this, add this, because they hear their parents doing it. So if they want a toy or something like that, they're going to easily mimic you. And so just kind of be wary of that if you are ordering through voice ordering, like placing cards, make purchase, things like that. So if you do decide to get one of these and maybe you're not tech savvy, I'm not sure. No insult to you guys. I mean, I even have trouble sometimes. I'll admit to it. <laughs> so that's just something to keep in mind um, to, de to deactivate if you have kids. They do have a kids friendly version that more than likely will not have um, that feature on it in general. So back to these two speakers. We're gonna start off with obviously the size difference. 
Um, these two speakers, they do come in the opposite color of the counterpart, as well as there's a third version, which they come in a, glac a glacier white, which is going to be the only color that will match the charging cord. Frustrating, I know. <laughs> I I'm very picky about that. I like my things to match. So um, Amazon is very frustrating. One of the features that I was really, really hoping for for the fourth generation, whether it be the Echo or the Dot, is to have it to be wireless. None, zero of the Echo speakers or Amazon speakers in general do not have, are not portable in the fact that, that you can take them from room to room without having to plug them in. I would absolutely really, really love that to be on the next generation. Please, do I need to, you know what, I'm gonna call Jeff and we'll talk it out, okay? <laughs> like I had that type of connection. So, um, one of the things that I did not like about the speaker, I love the style of it, the, you know, the roundedness gives a little bit more of a home decor look to it, but the little ring light is on the bottom. I don't know how many times I've yelled at Alexa <laughs> because I do not see the light, the, the ring light up. Uh, the previous generations had it on the top where you can see it regardless of, I wouldn't say regardless of angles, but you can see it at different angles. I would like to see it maybe around where the two materials meet, so that way you can see it at different angles. Um, so it is both on the dot as well as the regular Echo. Now the price difference is going to be $50, so the Echo is going to be $99, $100 rounding it up as well as the dot is going to be about 50 bucks. Now it is the holiday, so there's no telling what kind of deals coming up, Black Friday, um, all sorts of deals coming up for the holidays. So um, the price may be different by the time you purchase, but it shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't be higher than 100 or $50. I mean, I've seen where you get, I've seen in the past years, where you can get smart plugs and things like that, you know, music, Amazon Music, I guess the premium version, um, as well for, you know, so many months or 99 cents, things like that. So there's all sorts of deals that are gonna be happening this year, more than likely, especially since people are less likely to be out shopping and up, you know, out and about shopping this year. So more people are gonna be shopping online. So there's no telling what type of benefits they're gonna be. Now, one of the new features on the dot, so I'm going to focus on the dot a little bit. One of the features that is new to the dot is the fact that it is what they call a Bluetooth mesh. Now, what is that exactly? It is pretty much going to be a hub, which is going to be able to use a lot of your Bluetooth devices on the speaker. It does still have a auxiliary port for the device. Now, as far as the Echo, it has a similar concept to it, which is the fact that it has the Zigbee, or Zig, is it Zigbee or Zigbee? Either way, you're gonna hear me say it, pronounce it one way or another throughout the video. That is new to the Echo. It's the only, it's the only generation that has it. Um, there was the Echo Sub, which I have reviewed as well, um, that did have the Zigbee in it. And again, the Zigbee is pretty much going to be the same thing as the Bluetooth mesh for the mini dot, except for it's going to be for smart devices. So if you have your lights hooked up to it, you have your smart plugs, you have your smart thermostat, your smart treadmill, whatever the case, smart, whatever you have, you can control it all through here. So if you're like me and you have to climb over things to, you know, turn off your lamp or um, you're comfortable in bed, you could have your light switch turned off without having to move an itch. You're just going to tell her to do it. Oops. <laughs> also, the Echo does still have the auxiliary port on this device as well. The buttons are the same on either the Echo or the Dot. This is going to, the circle with the line crossed out is going to mute the speakers. The circle without the line through it is going to be your action button. So if you need to reconnect your device to your app, or you know pretty much kind of wake it up that's going to be your button and then of course you have your volumes for your um add and plus for your volume is one new feature on well I'm, yes it's semi new and i say that because the third generation had what they called alexa guard 
or Amazon Guard, Echo Guard, you're going to see uh, various phrases of that. And pretty much it's going to have the speaker listen to if there's glass breaking. Um, they do, and you know, if you have the smoke detectors going off, things like that. So if you're away from home, Alexa will let you know what's going on. Now they have an upgraded version, which is exclusive for the fourth, for the fourth generation. And that's going to have a little bit more security to it. So um, let me go ahead and show you right here the difference. Alexa Guard and Alexa Guard Plus is the difference. Um, so one's going to Alexa Guard General Basics, as you can see over here, is going to be free. So go ahead and set it up. And if you want to actually know what it looks like if it's turned on, and I'm doing this so that way it can show up on camera properly. So Alexa, turn on guard. Actually, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. Alexa, I'm leaving. Okay, I'll start guarding now. Oh, it doesn't do it on this speaker. I was thinking it's going to, um, I have my Echo Plus already plugged up. I changed the name so that way it doesn't alert or anything like that. And with those, the ring light actually kind of um, fades or circulates the speaker. I was thinking it was going to do it on this one, but clearly not. And so I know that my house is being guarded while I'm gone. And then when I return home, Alexa, I'm home. All right. I'll stop guarding now. So there you go. Um, if you want to have it on all the time, just tell her that you're leaving. And just be done with it but like i said the fourth generate or the 499 is going to be for the alexa guard plus and those are the benefits right there now at the end of the day look at the speaker if it doesn't sound right so we're going to test out i have both of them set to five or um, halfway percent 50 percent however you want to phrase it so we can hear a difference on which one is going to produce the most sound or the better sound so I'm going to let that play using some random music. All right, we're just going to test this one out. I'm not sure which one's going to, which speaker it's going to play on, but of course, we'll find out together. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and Alexa, set echo volume to 10. So fair warning, I'm turning up the music. Alexa, set dot two to volume 10. All right, guys, fair warning, volume's going up, so I don't want to scare anybody, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure I've done in other videos. Sorry. Technology has its own mind. Stop pausing. <laughs> I need a new song. Was the dot and I'm now going to play it on the echo if it wants to cooperate. What do you guys think? Can you hear me? Probably not. <laughs> is going to be the most bang for your buck you're going to have that quality sound and as you heard the comparison it has a lot more in my opinion oomph is probably the best way to describe it without actually describing it <laughs> so you do have the bass it has that louder sound to it in my opinion it's worth paying the extra 50 bucks but if you're doing it for a kid that or somebody that's not 
that's into music, but they're not really caring about the bass or anything like that. They just want a, you know, a decent speaker. The dot's going to definitely be a great value for you. Again, that's 50 bucks. I do plenty of reviews on headphones and speakers. So if there's any other speakers or headphones that you want me to review, please let me know. I'll add it to the list and hopefully get it out before the end of the holidays so you guys can know whether it's worth the purchase or not. Um, or any other, you know, toys or anything like that. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them if I can get my hands on them. Um, because I can't do the Xbox or PlayStation. Sorry, guys. I've tried. I <laughs> can't get a hold of them. Um, but I do have the Oculus, so I've reviewed that. I'll be doing an update on that one as well very soon. So, um, like I said, if you have any questions, please drop them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to Jazzy Reviews, as well as my other YouTube channel, Jazzy Foods. In the meantime, stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys!